would be hilarious. In all seriousness, that would be amazing. We got him though! Chance for glory! No! Yeah, 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 we got him. Yeah, yes, yes. We just need to zero this first. <laughs> not... We're not gonna forget about that. Okay, you get the emblem. Great. Draw a card for each color. Uh, or pay, please. Nice. And uh, this guy is indestructible. He can just go in. And that seeks another Ursula. And uh, we now have the mine, the tower, and the plant. Oh! <laughs> I don't know that this is the easiest way to go infinite turns in Magic, but it is a way with this new card right here. Signature spell says. When it enters the battlefield, you seek two instant and or sorcery cards with mana value 3. Only the cards with mana value 3 and you exile them. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may copy a card exiled with signature spells and you may cast a copy without paying its mana cost. Of course, we're gonna hit chance for glory, creatures control gain indestructible and you take an extra turn after this one. But it also says at the beginning of that turn's end step, you lose the game. So that's a little bit of a downside. How do we mitigate this? Well, we either have Gideon down which can give us an emblem with, as long as you control a Gideon Planeswalker, you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. You can also return Platinum Angel or Platinum Angel. These are just different frame, frames, but they're the same card. So, how do we get this off? Well, the fastest way is probably this. On our turn three, on turn two, we discard Orrery. Turn three, we trash for treasure back an Orrery. Then we chance for glory with that Orrery. And then on the next turn, we play Gideon and Zero. And then hopefully we can also find some way of playing signature spells in there. <laughs> then maybe we can get this off turn 3. But probably, most likely, turn 4, 5, 6, or maybe even 7 or 8. <laughs> Not the fastest combo ever. We have Portal 2 for Exet to stay alive. Uh, and also it's a good thing to just recur again and again and again from our graveyard. Assemble the team to pick up the cards. Faithless Looting and Goblin Engineer to get these uh, things in the graveyard. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. Jump to the games. Mm. I mean, potentially with the Faithless Looting, we're gonna keep all that we probably shouldn't keep, but uh, I don't know why I kinda wanna keep that. Crypto Faithless. In my experience, two Faithless Looting you can sometimes do, but uh, like three is, is rare, in my opinion. Uh, we'll ship one Faithless Looting. What do we ship next? Do we ship both Faithless Lootings? Nah, I probably want to play one next turn. So we ship... <sighs> Man, I don't want to ship signature spells, but it's probably the correct choice here. So yeah, put this down. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Uh, no artifacts here in the top, okay? Ursus Destruction Drone! Yeah, yeah, this is the thing with shuffles. This is cool, actually. Shuffles uh, the power plant, the power, and the mine. The mine! Okay. Do another fatal loading. There is a portal to Brexa, so that's somewhat good, at least. We can also, let's see, we have Mana Confluence there, that's good. But am I gonna ship all the signature spells? I just might! I just might, because they're not working out yet. They are gonna work out at some point, surely. Uh, we can actually go and assemble the team for a, a land, actually, because we can just return. We have the refurbish, right? Uh, and they had- wait, hey, we actually had the trash for treasure there? I didn't even- yeah, but we didn't have an artifact in the graveyard. My god! My god! Okay, it's fine. No problem. Not a problem. Would be sweet if we could get the orrery down. Because if we get the orrery down, that's when the, the deck starts ticking, I feel like. Serial, though. No? Ursus Construction Zone. Uh, if he finds a cool way of utilizing this, I'm all ears. I think it's a little bit slow. Because essentially, you need to attack in with this. Right, let's see. When it enters the battlefield, you conjure a card. Well, one of each. And then with attacks or dies, you see, in Ursa. So you need to attack in three times. Or die uh, two times, and then it dies also. That also works. Mm, I would say that's on the slow side of things, in most cases. But look at this refurbished though. Portal the Phyrexia, but douche. Yeah, that thing is gone, but it's gonna, it's gonna be arriving on our side though. Okay, Sulfur's mine. Ooh, he's gonna get the mana, isn't he? Ah, that Portal the Phyrexia might fall though. He might have some. 
sneaky business up his slivars here, okay? There's the power plant though, okay? Simla Krum? Interesting, this might be... Wait, this is a construct! No, it's a gold one. I was thinking it's a construct. I think you can actually make a, like, a construct. I mean, of course you can, but like, you know, a decent one. Oh, Ursa's power plant though. Is that gonna be the... The thing? Why isn't this an artifact, by the way? Isn't the Ursa all about artifacts? Shouldn't this be an artifact land? I didn't, didn't think about it. Like Chris, the amazing Chris who thinks about everything. Uh, yeah, but then this. Search for the order V, right? And now we don't have signature spells though anymore, cause... Mm, cause Chris is dingoes, you might argue, but... No. No, 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 no. Uh, Urza's power plant though. Uh, chromatic order, yes, auto pay. And we might actually just eat this up, right? Because then we get another. Then we get the land and then we return it next. Wait, we're gonna have our entire deck is just gonna be these freaking things though. Well, it might be fine, I don't know. Um, I think we plus you, actually. Prevent that simul nupnum lacrum <laughs> everything. Let's see, Ursa's power plant, Ursa's tower. Now ah, we're close. Close to assemble. Oh no! Nickel Bolas Dragon God! Oh no! Each one exiles a card from the hand. I think it's gonna be the Slagwood Bridge. Okay. We're a permanent. We could have actually exiled. Ah, that was probably the best thing. Uh, Frex and Dragon Engine, Solemn Simulacrum. Okay. I don't know if this is good for us. <laughs> this construction thing coming back every turn. Uh, we got Faithless Looting though. Hopefully we can find something good here. Oh, there's the signature spells! That is insane. Okay. Well, hope that this survives then. Put this down. And Badoosh. Nice! Uh, we have these things, we just need to survive for one turn without this. That's here. Uh, yeah, this guy has all the abilities of everything, right? So that's interesting. We can go in with this. Hmm. We can prevent the damage from this. But if he has the melding here... Uh, that might be uh, that might be dangerous. Um, gonna prevent all damage on this guy. I think that's the way. No attacks. Hope that he doesn't kill both Gideon and the uh, signature spells, and then we're in business. Oh, that, that doesn't have ace though. Yet. <laughs> okay. Um, exile something. I think we can exile the. Um, uh, are we completing the Ursa? We might be actually. I think the Dark was bridge. <laughs> it would be hilarious if we complete no his Ursa thing. That would be hilarious. In all seriousness, that would be amazing. We got him though. Chance for glory. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got him. Yeah, yes, yes. We just need to zero this first. <laughs> not. We're not gonna forget about that. Okay. You get the emblem. Great. Draw a card for each color. Uh, or pay, please. Nice. And uh, this guy is indestructible. He can just go in. And that seeks another Ursa land. And uh, we now have the mine, the tower, and the plant. Oh! <laughs> what a game. What a game. Okay, put down this. Uh, short play. What else do we need? I don't think we need anything really. We've got him. Uh, maybe a plot of the manual, because why not? Maybe I messed something up there. Possibility. Uh, oh, wait, can we get his Mishra? I think we can. <laughs> yes, for glory. Yes. Oh, infinite turns. Infinite turns was so easy. Uh, turn 15 wasn't even a problem. Wasn't even close. Wait, what if he has something which exiles this? Oh, it's fine. We got him. Oh, oh kind of combo in hand there. Double platinum angel. A uh, chance for glory. So you're telling me there's a chance for glory? There is. There is always a chance for glory. Uh, ooh, oh, we, I mean, we have everything, right? We have everything. Let's play this. Badoosh. Double platinum angel in the grave nerd. Put down this, and we could even 
chance for glory this turn if we have final white, but we don't. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, we'll do this. Put it down. Oh, I don't know. Thought it was gonna snow in the goblin and in here, but it didn't. I'm gonna search for the orrery though. Put that down. But do we put this down? Do we faithless looting also? Is there a reason not to faithless looting here? Uh, nah, I think that I think go for it. And what we want to find is hmm, we can keep the trash for treasure and skip the Gideon because we can return the platinum. No, 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 we ship this. Hmm. Yeah, we do it like this. Uh, we, we trash for treasure next turn, return the orrery, then we refurbish back the uh, the angel, and then we get him, possibly, maybe? Possibly, maybe? Maybe, baby? Patoo, though. Triple swamp. And a dangerous creature of some sort. No. No, 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 no. Uh, well, trash for treasure. Orrery, orrero. Or the door, the door, do. Uh, put this down there. Mm hmm. And then. We could also go and chance for glory now. Then return Platinum Angel. But if he has a removal for Platinum Angel. That's not good. <laughs> At all. <laughs> ah, screw it, we gamble. Okay. He has a removal for Platinum Angel, he has a removal for Platinum Angel. That's just how it is. That's fine. We go in big damage. Wait, now we place a removal? If we place a removal on the engineer now, that's gonna be hilarious. Hilarious if it does. Okay. He would have, he would have crushed us. <laughs> but now, sir. We might be on the winning side there, because we can't lose the game, apparently. Oh! Okay, been looting. O okay, we play. No, we can't play it. My god! I don't want the Discord too! I don't want the Discord too! We have it! Okay, now we can't lose the game. We have Plotted Mangel. Let's see. But no! <laughs> Crap on Dappers. It's fine. Been the looting. Um, um, I guess shipping both these gives us a lot of digging, right? A lot of digging. Ooh, that's really good. Now we can trash for trash. Wait, he has nothing. But wait, it can reanimate for us also. So that's good, right? Right? This might be good, maybe. Okay, well, Portal of Phyrexia. Uh, yep, since he has no creatures, this is not gonna kill anything, but on our turn we're gonna get the Platinum Angel. And that's gonna set up for when we get the signature spells. <laughs> okay, Patu though. Oh no! What is this? At the beginning uh, At the beginning of... Uh, it loses the life unless it sacrifices an online power to discard a card. Uh, decline? Uh, I'm fine losing, losing three life points. Absolutely no problem. Oh, this thing though is gonna find the business, right? There's the signature spells. There it is. There it is. Now we just have to pass the turn. It's probably just gonna snoo the angel, but that's fine. Wait, 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 wait. Have we used all of them though? No, no wait, we shut. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, did you choose the wrong number, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Should we keep this? This hand doesn't do anything. I guess it... There is a way this does something. We could... <laughs> skip playing a land, turn one, to... Ship the orrery, then trash... <laughs> we have to do it. <laughs> we have to do it! Come on, it's gonna be so good! It's gonna be so good! Uh, Yep, we're gonna skip. I just want to discard this thing. <laughs> Suspicious? I think not. Did you keep a zero lander? No! No, 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 no. 
Uh, we just uh, needed some uh, some discarding. The, the, we got discarding here, so the, this was just silly. This is just horrible for us, but... I mean, it could have been good, potentially. Now find this also. This was just all completely redundant in every single way. Uh, Platinum Angel versus Portal of Brexa. Doesn't seem like this guy maybe has creatures, so we'll put down the the Angel now. And also we need the Angel to Bishnoon, so that's, that's an important part here. Okay, five manas. Mana Geo. Man, this guy is all about the manas. Okay, Scry is also. Okay, that goes to the bottom. Two manas up here. That might be... I don't know. Gaia's Blessing. Man, this guy is... A man full of surprises. We'll do this. Trash for treasure back the orrery. Auto pay. Badoosh. Uh, eat up you. And then refurbish the angel. Good. And uh, that is pretty much it. We'll deal one damage also. Okay, so if he has some kind of me, he wins the game. Come on, he doesn't win the game. That's good. Yeah. Platinum Angel, sir. Platinum Angel. On the ground. He probably has a removal spell. One or two or three or four removal spells would be my guess. Skycat Relic, okay. He just goes for it though. He wants them in the bubbles, okay. Uh, well, if we assemble the team and we hit our business. We can also play signature spells and possibly win, but I think he has something in his hand. <laughs> I'm suspecting he has something. We're gonna chance for glory this. And let's see, if we play chance for glory, what else can we play? We can play thrill also. Uh, we'll do it. We'll play this. And we'll go in big damage. I don't know if this was the correct call or maybe she just played signature spells. Thrilling Discovery, we don't want to throw signature spells. We end the turn. Our turn again. Another Platinum Angel. We just have to gamble then, I guess? Oh no, we could play this first. Ship the Platinum Angel in the Monarch Confluence. Like this. And that gives us another chance for glory, so that's great. Great, great, great. And we smack in again. Bada bada. But douche is down to nine. Play this. Should we play faithless now? Oh, <laughs> same trick again. You ask. No, we don't have an artifact actually now. So this time we'll mulligan. <laughs> um, I guess this is fine. We have a trash for treasure, so probably just skip this. And not the worst hand. Not the best hand. Be mine. Assessment of this app. It's not the worst, not the best. Your knifer though. 182. Man, where's some Jason Dennis memes you might? Jason Dennis Reddit. Check it out. It's gonna be some more sub it's gonna call it. It's gonna be more subtitles gone wild. 100 percent it's gonna happen. Uh put down this. Storks. <laughs> Flamingos better than storks. No way! <laughs> no. I mean, come on, the beak is longer on the stork. Come on, come on, what does the flamingo even have on the stork? Nothing. Not, yet, yet don't be silly, guys. Be serious. This is serious business. Uh, ship this. Surely. Ship this and play Darkmas Bridge and Badoosh, you know. Badoosh it. Uh, Paladin class, so is he gonna buff his spirited companion? Do we go for a portal to Phyrexia? Is that the uh, Chinois or do we just Goblin Engineer? Might better just Goblin Engineer actually. Go for the Orrery first. Ease into this a little bit and then, you know, then we do the business. With the business on the business. Okay, Spirit Companion. Mm-hmm. A buff. Light away, untap it. Okay. Unexpected, but I do like it, okay? Goblin Engineer, and uh, that's gonna be the Orrery. The holy- wait, wait, did we have the Orrery in the graveyard? Was only three there? Or did we only have three in the deck? Uh, might have done an oopsie, but I hope there's four, because it's very, very important to get that off, to get the mana, to do everything, you know? Yonifer, though. 
Uh, Paladin class. Uh, uh, oh! Goblin engineer getting snowed. Getting exiled. Getting investigated. Whatever that card is, you know, the thing which creates a clue. Uh, anyways, uh, more Jason Dallas rabbit. Subtitles gone wild. Five! <laughs> okay, we're up to five now. And this, I would play another corn. And we, I think, we got worm. We got worm. Cryland. <laughs> and this, I would play another corn. And we, I think, we got worm Cryland. I mean, it's almost poetry. I mean, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, block there. He just leveled this up, okay. I mean, why not? Why not? Uh, yeah, that order rhythm. Looking juicy. Looking absolutely beautiful. Uh, return the order rhythm. Badoosh. And then, do we even go for an assemble here? I think so. We go assemble. And we try to hit another. Yes, another trash for treasure. And then we use that trash for treasure. To get the portal of Phyrexia. Great! And eat up this land, and then we get this pretty companion that's huge! Oh, that's invested so much in it. Into it. Uh, and we're also down to one land, so if we kill the order, we're, we're pretty much down that. I mean, that would never happen, right? That would never happen. That would never happen. Lion's Sash, though. Yo, that is scary, because that can exile a card from a graveyard. He can now exile his own creature. Actually, that, that's smart if it does that, but the exhausts my creature. Uh, okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. It actually would have probably been better for me. Now we didn't have anything, but actually it would have been better for me to go for... ...that thing we have in the graveyard, and then trash for treasure now back our thing. That would have been good for us. We didn't have it, but that would have been amazing. Would have been amazing, the thing you said to me that day. Would have been amazing. It wasn't so amazing, it would be amazing. Okay, well this is both amazing and a bit scary. Because if we play, I mean we can just play the trash for treasure, I guess. We can do that. And return uh, a land. <laughs> we could do that, and then we turn portal to break again. But now, nah, but then this gets exiled by the lion sash though. No, don't, don't destroy evil, sir! Oh no! No! Not happy about this at all! I'm not happy about this at all! Okay. Block. Block it like it's hot. Block it like it's hot. And uh, that thing comes back and we draw another card. Nice. And. Uh, another signature spell. Do you think he has another? Destroy evil. We might have another destroy evil. Is there anything else that is even a reasonable play? We could also faithless looting. Yeah, that's what we do. Faithless looting. So we get our portal to Phyrexia in the grave neared. Uh, like this, I think. And then Trash for Trash is sacrificing our portal to return our portal to get rid of his lion sash. Because that thing has been way too good. Way too strong. Overpowered in every single way. And uh, then we put down this. And uh, that's it. Yonifer though. Four of the manas. It's about to upgrade this maybe. Double strike. Let's see. Uh, this also gives double strike, doesn't it? Okay. And uh, star pupil. Uh, it's better with a plus counter on it. When it dies, put its counter on target which you control. Oh, now we have the lion, Sasha. Uh, I think what we're gonna do here, though, is... Wait, are we out of chance for Glorious? I think we are. But that's not the worst, because now we have infinite removal with this, unless he has another destroy... Okay, there was only one chance for Glory left in the deck. <laughs> or, wait, or we, and we have to play it, don't we? And you may, okay, you may, okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's not a problem, yep. Not a problem. Not even close to a problem. <laughs> Star people. Yep. And uh, what is it? It ends up with a plus counter on it. Is it just a 2-2 two, two for 2? When it dies, put its counter on the... A 2-2 two, two for 1, Chris. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sure. Sure. If words work like uh, that, sure. Um, this we can now exile. 
A card from a graveyard. If it was a permanent card, do you have a permanent card, sir? Uh, your graveyard, though, will exile this sacred foundry. I don't like it. And we're gonna exile a. I'll take the energy pass. We can never return this, anyways. But douche, block there, block there, but douche. But don't get a lion sash! Huge! But now it can put this plus counter on the twin blade, guys. That's scary. Okay, uh, spirit companion. On the battle build, draw a card. And uh, we did gonna decline. <laughs> oh, but now we have the assembly team. No, we just didn't. No, we just didn't! That's fine. Uh, wait, we can play. Can we play Platinum Angel? Can we play Platinum Angel? Wait, do we have Platinum Angel in the graveyard? Am I confused? No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see, we have six manas here, one here. No, that, we can't do that. But we can... Uh, we can refurbish it. Right? If we play this guy. Search for a Platinum Angel. Refurbish the Platinum Angel. Badoosh. And then we just have to wait one turn and then we get him. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this combo proved to be really fast. It's just me. My god, was it quick to assemble. Every game just one turn and then we had it. <laughs> easy, easy jank. Gotta say. Okay, level 2 though. Oh, Twin Blade guys coming in with all the double strike. And the Star Pupil. Star Pupil, is that you, Chris? It's me! Uh, I don't think he has a buff for this. Am I missing something? This isn't upgraded, this isn't upgraded. Uh, yeah, this thing, we just want to die every turn, so we get to draw a card. And... What's this plus counter on Twin Blade, guys? But now we have infinite turns! Oh! Okay. Spare combat. Nice! Draw a card. Nice. And... Chance for glory! <laughs> <laughs> Again, this was fast. My god. The fastest deck in the game. And now it gets Chance for Glory! Chance for Glory! <laughs> Chance for Glory! <laughs> okay, go in big damage. Blah, 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 blah. I have a couple of extra turns there. And the turn. Oh, but what do you know? Oh, Star Pupil. Nice. And an extra turn. Oh, huge. Absolutely, absolutely unbeatable. Okay, smack in, big damage. Down the three, and the turn. One more turn there, one more turn. Oh, that's a torpedo. Nice chance for glory. Oh, 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 And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take those views. No, the, those are my views. Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs zero percent and non subs a hundred percent. That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little. Something down there.